I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond. As we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Hey, we're back up in Alaska and at a really unique opportunity to go fishing. We're at the Gone Fishing Lodge. With me here is the, are the owners, Ralph, pleasure to see you again. I've Good met to you. Have you. I see you at many of the sports shows in Denver. We've been meeting a long time. And Dick, I think I met you one time at one sports show once. I think that was a male, and I don't remember if I did or not for sure, but I met you now. And this lovely lady is... This is my wife, Theona. All right, and we're up here, and we've actually, I've had a camera crew up here for several days, and I'm up here for a few days, and we're going to do a whole bunch of different kind of fishing, but today we're going to concentrate. Well, you, you guys offer just tremendous fishing opportunities and a great facility here, and we're going to bring you back and talk about that. And we're actually doing a, a series of shows, so you may have seen some of the others already, but we're going to take out today in part what's the ocean fishing portion of what you offer, right? Okay. And that's, tell us a little bit about what that entails. Well, we've got two different places that we uh, fish for halibut, one in the Cook Inlet and one out of Seward. Um, and, and when we go to Seward, we do a lot of combination trips with silver salmon, ling cod, we get rock bass, some yellow wine stuff, and uh, get two different uh, ocean floors. One's sandy over in the Cook Inlet, and one's a lot of uh, rock structure, which is, gives us the different combinations of fish. And what we're going to be trying for is these multi-species. What I really liked about the trip that we're going on today is we're going to show you some halibut fishing later on, but when we're going to start out, we're going to head out to Seward, and we're going to start out going for silver salmon, ling cod, and rockfish, and maybe some other species too. So let's get you out on the water, and then I want to get you back and tell you a lot more about Gone Fishing Lodge. All right, Brock. Well, that's a little back out of your way here. All right. That's a good keeper. We'll keep them big ones, huh? Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Oh, no, a little quick. Little slack. There you go. Fish on! Fish on. All right. Other fish on right here. That's our no, rockfish is, what, oh, got, what is that, a sea, sea bass? Fish on! We got rockfish. I got a fish on. <laughs> fish on! Fish on! Yeah, I got a rockfish, too. Was there any limit? 
Okay. Woo. Take a line. Take a line. Oh, take a line. No Boy, they're strong. Thank you, Mel. You know the nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it. Okay. Get some line. Huh? Get some line. The nice thing about uh, being on these boats is you get well taken care of. You just do your fishing and reel them in. They take care of them, take them off the hook, rebait it, yeah. and that's what uh, makes life easy and good. Definitely. You don't have to have a lot of knowledge or skill, just know how to hang on and reel. One thing about these rock cod, they don't fight at all. They just, they just give up. Oh, that's a. Uh, there's a beauty. What's that? Now, what's the? Re why is that one a different? This is a non-pelagic rockfish. Oh yeah. Rockfish. There's two categories of rockfish out here. There's pelagic, which is the black rockfish we've been catching, and then there's non-pelagic. Most of the non-pelagic are bright and colorful like this, and uh, you can only keep one of these guys. Yes. He's uh, a. By non-plagic, what that means is that they they don't stay in one around. place, yeah, right? Yeah, they live on the same rock pile their whole life, and that's why you can only keep one. Because once you kill all the of that kind in one area, I can feel him. He's just he's kind of shaking. It's just what, kind of look at look at look at those. Huh? Yeah. What, and one of the things when you uh, fish in the ocean, you just never know what you're gonna catch. Oh, so. exactly. It's, it's just awesome. Mixed basket. Some interesting creatures. We well, better get that back in the yeah. water, I suppose. He's a cool little guy. Man, that's a beauty there. Oh, Karen, I tell you what, I just, I said, Karen, you want to fish for a while? I'll take a break. And she catches, she catches rockfish, she catches pink salmon, and now she's got a beautiful silver salmon on. She's always been a show off. I hate to say this on camera, but seven years of filming in Alaska, and every year Karen has caught a bigger fish than me. All right, Karen, way to go. That's the neat thing about these trips out of places like Seward. We set this. You come up here with uh, Gone Fishing Lodge and you, uh, you get to do different things different days and every day, just one day like today, she's already caught three species of fish. She's got some in the live well. I mean, and these aren't little fish, folks. These are nice fish. They're big fish. They're... Yeah, you're getting them. He's, he's getting wore out. You got him. All right, Karen, good fight. I'll tell you, these sea run salmon them. are so strong. All right. Oh, nice looking silver, too. Silver. Look at the size of that. Nice oh, silver. Beauty. Beautiful silver. We'll get this one up and she'll hold it up so we can take a look at it. Silver Good. salmon. You know, Karen, you're kind of showing off here. We're out here. Dick, what do you think about this? You know, I let her fish for a few minutes. She catches two kinds of salmon, a rockfish. Uh, she's just showing me up. Beginner's luck. I don't, it's not beginner, she's been fishing a long time, but she obviously has lost track of who the host of the show is. And Somebody's got to catch the fish. Right? Somebody's got to catch them. Yeah, well, uh, this might come to an we end. We only here. have so much time. Oh, I tell you this what. This show's only, what, 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Gone Fishing Lodge, fishing out of Seward, Alaska, Resurrection Bay, salmon, ling cod, rockfish, catching fish, action steady, and we're having fun. Looks like Ralph might be hooked up with another ling cod. He's... He's going out. He's got that lingcod jig on also. The neat thing about coming up to the Gone Fishing Lodge is Ralph and Dick, who you're seeing in the camera right now, are the guys that own the lodge. You can see their passion. Now, they're fishing with us today because we're filming the television, but normally they're going to set you up and get you out on these fishing trips and get you taken care of. But they understand your passion oh, for the outdoors because it's yeah. their passion. So we got another species yellow here eye. now. We got another species, a yellow eye, which I don't even know what it is, but they'll probably tell us. Whoa! Oh. So, yeah. so t tell us about a yellow eye. Tell us about. Is that a good fish? It's an excellent. Yeah, it's a, uh, go ahead. Huh? Oh, you I was going to say it's a. About one of those. It's another one of those uh, non-pelagic rockfish. This is probably kind of the top because it's top one to catch in that category. Are they good to eat? Very good. Excellent. And is there a size limit or anything or? Hey, we're going to get you, we'll get you back out in the water in just a minute, but I want to tell you a little bit about the place we're staying because it's just a tremendous, tremendous place to come and stay. Easy to get to and lots of amenities. Tell us a little bit now. People get here, what's the normal routine? What happens? They fly into Anchorage or? Yeah, they fly into Anchorage and uh, 
most people will rent a, rent a car and drive down there. It's 150 miles south of uh, Anchorage. It's one of the, you know, there's only a few places you can drive to in Alaska. There's only five roads in the whole state, and there is one that comes right past us. And so that's and when another reason that they need a rental car is because even though we're located right on the Kenai River, we don't do all of our fishing right here on the back of the dock or on the river. We, we travel around to a few different places in this area. And, Gives us a lot of multiple things to do, a lot of variety. Well, there's going to be packages you can put together, and we'll get into more of those later. But the drive from Anchorage to um, Soldatna is just, it's, a, it's, it's one of the most beautiful drives in the world. Come right through Kenai, and it's just a tremendous, tremendous drive. But tell us a little bit about, what about the meal situation here? Uh, you provide a, a continental breakfast, is that right? That's right. And you, you're the one that makes that breakfast go, is that? I do, and I set it up the night before so it is ready no matter what time you get up in the morning to go fishing. And the coffee pot is on all the time? All the time. And you've got coffee pots in the rooms and things too? Yes. yes we do. Coffee pot, a refrigerator, a microwave, um, and then a group cooking area. You've got this huge commons area that's like, it's about a third of its dining area. Then there's a huge kitchen with multiple stoves that you can cook in. There's grocery stores right down the street and, and restaurants. restaurants and restaurants right down the streets the only meal you serve here is the continental breakfast mm -hmm. but that's what helps keep the price down and makes it reasonable and people can just eat whatever they want and there's great restaurants and and cooking facilities right here and another thing is a lot of these fishing trips start pretty early and it's tough to get a breakfast or get up mm -hmm. and take the time to make a breakfast and so that breakfast is really handy all right it just makes it really great mm -hmm. so now tell us a little bit about the rooms how many people can you sleep here in a room a typical room well, some of our rooms sleep two, some sleep four, and some sleep six. So it doesn't make any difference the size of your group. You can, uh, we can accommodate uh, different size groups, different groups for different rooms. So you can take a couple and just give them a room to themselves. You can take a family and give them a room, or you can take a group and give them a series of rooms, and you can schedule the packages of fishing so they could go together, or some of them can go in different ways. We're going to get into that in just a little bit. And another service you have here is the, you, you take care of their fish right here. They don't have to go searching around for somebody else to process their yeah, fish. Yeah, we do the vacuum packing for them. We do freezing. Uh, right now, 50 pounds in every person's package is included. And we also uh, have their, own, their shipping boxes that are airline approved to take home also. I tell you, we want to tell you more about the other fishing that's available up here a little later on. But right now, we're going to get you out in the water, but we're not going back um, down to Seward yet. My crew came out a few days ahead of me because I didn't have, they had more time to spend here than I did, which really wasn't fair. But they went out and did a little halibut fishing. We want to show you a little bit of that. Then we're going to bring you back, tell you about the other fishing packages, and we'll get you back out to Seward and some more silver and link cod fishing. Jeez. So I guess the bait does matter, huh? Sometimes it does, up from the bottom, man. That's a good fish. We'll take that guy in a minute. Hey, we'll get you back out on the water again here in just a minute, but if you do decide to come up to Gone Fishing Lodge, one of the things that makes it so great up here, guys, is that there's, you offer so, such variety of fishing. It's just tremendous. You know, a lot of times you go to one lodge and you'll just be fishing king salmon all day long or, or silver salmon the whole time you're there, you're a remote lodge. And you offer just everything from the ocean fishing for halibut and silvers and lingcod. Uh, you've got flyouts, which are just tremendous. You've got how many different types of flyouts do you do? We probably do seven or eight different trips for king salmon, red salmon, silver salmon uh, at various different times of the year. It's always good fishing, it's just always changing. And some people love to just get in a float plane and take a trip, don't you think, Dick? I mean, it's part of their package, just the experience of it. Well, the float plane trip is probably the, one of the highlight trips that we have that we offer. And there's 
several different places that we go with the float planes too. And in addition to that, you've got the Kenai River right out the back door here, where somebody, one of the other guests was telling me they came up here before, and they were catching red salmon one right after another by wading right out below the lodge here. And we have a couple different drifts you can do on the Kenai. There's the trout drift on the upper Kenai, uh -huh. and then you have salmon drifts on the lower Kenai, and also some trout down there. So you really, is it standard packages, custom packages? What's the best way to come? Well, um, we put out quite a few different packages. We have we list on our uh, our package sheet. We have 15 packages, five in each month: June, July, and August. And uh, you know, basically, when people come up if they've never been here before, we like to kind of give them a variety of, of things to do. Maybe a river trip, a halibut trip, um, a fly out trip, and and one or two of the other trips that we have. And, and give them a sample of everything this, uh, this place has to offer. And then when they come back, you can customize a trip because they'll kind of know what you have, put one together. In addition, if everybody in your group doesn't fish, there's other things like you've got bear trips and sightseeing trips. Yeah, our bear uh, viewing trip is probably the number one trip in, in Alaska. This is, uh, mm -hmm. we, can get very, we get very close, sometimes a little close for comfort, but it's our number one trip that we do. I tell you what, we better get you back in the water and show you some more fishing, but uh, you just get it. We'll bring you back at the end of the show and tell you just a little bit more about the lodge. Ralph, you think you got a link link hod? Nice. Yeah. It's a link hod. You know, Ralph and Dick are on this uh, outing with us. They don't get to fish that often because they're usually taking care of clients, but today they're taking advantage of it. They're both hooking up and doing a good job. Oh, there. Oh. There. oh. All right. All right, another nice link cod. Hey, Ralph, way to go. That's what I'm gonna say, give us a nice one. You're gonna have to hold that one up for the camera. Look at that baby. Wow, Ralph, turn sideways, Ralph, so I can see the side of the fish. All right, way to go, Ralph. That's good eating fish. Good eating fish, look at that face. A face only a mother could love. Oh, and we got another one over here. Let's buy him Bob's. Way to go, Bob. Bob, is that your first link cod? Way to go. Talk to him. Yeah, just telling Dick that, uh, you know, these rockfish are so abundant out here that, uh, you know, a, a family, you know, got a lot of kids. Uh, we can we can bring you out here and put you on these rockfish, and uh, every kid's got a fish all the time, and it, uh, it'll wear them down. We'll <laughs> keep a fish on at all times. Oh, he just got heavier. <laughs> Tighten the drag and the fish got heavier, huh? Well, Dick, last time I was fishing with you, you got spooled by about a 20-pound trout. So let's see if you can uh, get this fish in so we can see it. Oh, this guy's coming in the boat. Well, at least he's coming to the top. Let's put it that way. Here it comes. Yeah, it's another ling. How big? Nice ling. All right, another ling cod. We were hoping to get into the link cod today, to tell you the truth. We were really looking forward to it. All right, man, those are... Good leg, Dick. How was that battle? That's you... pretty. Did you get that thing hard? It just, well, I was just jigging it, and as soon as it started jigging it, it quit. Show us that jig again, what you, what you were using there. This one's got a black tail instead of a white tail. That makes you wonder how... Yeah, hey, do you think you want to keep that fish, or should we send him home and go for a bigger one? Let's go for a bigger one. Let's go for a bigger then. one. All right, so this one's going back. That's a, I just love the colors on those things. How big do they have to be to keep them? 36 inches. 36. So that one's probably close to a keeper. We got one in the live well now, but you want to put that one back and try for a big one, huh? Yeah. And Mel, you were telling me one about that big weighs about how much? Maybe 10 pounds? What? Probably 15 pounds. 15 pounds. So, so my, you, my biggest ones I got right now so far is a 53, so we got to get something bigger than that. All right. Oh, what it looks into him brag. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't help but well, slip flaunt that it, in. Flaunt it if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Hey, I hope that you enjoyed watching us out there on uh, out of Seward fishing for first time I ever caught a lingcod. That was just a, what an incredible fish that is, and silvers and rockfish and yellow yellow eye. Yellow eye. Yellow eye. I Pacific tell you what. Red snapper. And of course, we showed you a little bit of the halibut fishing. But even that, what you saw today with all those different species, was just just a small part of the fishing they have to offer here at the Gone Fishing Lodge up here on the Kenai Peninsula up in Alaska. Just a tremendous, you guys just, and I couldn't have been treated better. I tell you, what a, what a tremendous trip I've had and well, it's you. been thank wonderful. You. I want to thank you for having me up up here. Appreciate thank you very problem. much. And thank you Dick, for thanks coming. for inviting me up here to, to fish with you guys. We really enjoyed it. Well, we designed this packages and the fishing trips that we do because that's what we like to do. And so we would like to invite everybody out there that's watching right now to come up and join us and uh, we know you're going to love it. You know, and I, I can't say more than the fact are not only good fishing, but good people come up. We'll put their in contact information up here right now, and then we'll put it up again in the credits. So run and get a pencil and paper right now. Come up here, give them a try. Whatever type of fishing that is available up here that you like to do, they're going to take care of you. And join us next week for another angling adventure.